Let's have a look at linear vector subtraction now. So in the last video, we saw how we can add two vectors that were in a straight line like this. Now we're going to see how we can subtract two vectors like this. So what's interesting about vector subtraction is that it doesn't actually exist. So for example, let's say, you know, we had 10 meters towards the right, subtract from three meters towards the right. There's no such thing as vector subtraction what we instead do is we do a bit of a trick, right? So what we do is we instead of is we say that this is 10 meters towards the right. Now, before we actually go into the math, let's intuitively understand what this means. This is saying if I go 10 meters towards the right, but actually three less meters towards the right. So intuitively, we can see that the answer is seven meters towards the right. But the way that we can do this algebraically is we can absorb, is that we can, you know, say this, right? Um, sorry. So if you recall that um, a plus minus is equal to a minus sign. And then what I'll do is this minus sign will be absorbed, will be kept with the second vector. And then we will absorb this minus sign into the vector itself, right? So when you have a minus of a vector, it flips the vector. Just like how if you have a minus sign in front of a three, it'll flip it, it'll become a minus three, right? So if you imagine that on a number line, here we have zero, three, minus three. In fact, numbers themselves can be represented as vectors we used to have a vector pointing towards the right. When you multiply three by a negative sign, we suddenly flip it towards the right. So multiplying by a negative sign will flip the direction of the vector completely. And now we can do the same head to tail stuff that we did before, right? So we can have 10 meters this way, and I'll have the same three meters, again, matching the, the base or the uh, tail to the tip. So I can see here that will be my resultant and just by looking at that I can tell it's seven meters and that's how we do vector subtraction now let's have a look at a harder example of vector subtraction so here we have a two meter vector pointing towards the right subtracted from a eight meter point vector pointed towards the left so this will be two meters again we're gonna turn this minus sign into um, a, a plus sign, right? Because we can't actually do vector subtraction, we can only do vector addition. This minus sign will then be absorbed into this vector, right? So this minus sign will be absorbed into this 8 meter vector. So, because to, so to absorb it, we flip it around to be 8 meters. And so now we can see this just simplifies down to a very, um, you know, typical um, vector addition problem. We just have two vectors added together like this. And so we can see that the answer is going to be a 10 meter vector towards the right. That was vector subtraction. In the next video, we'll have a look at adding perpendicular vectors. I'll see you there. We offer physics, chemistry, and math tutoring. For more insightful explanations like this one, head to our website, tutorgum.com.